there everyone this is jessica from domesticatedme.com welcome back to my channel i asked you on instagram and overwhelmingly you guys voted that you wanted to see a makeup tutorial for a neutral day look and that is what i have for you today this is also an opportunity for me to use brand new products that I haven't shared with you before or haven't even touched before. So this is gonna be a combination of a few things. I'm also gonna be sharing some tips for you to alter it if you want something a little bit different, if you want it a little deeper, if you wanna turn into evening, if you want to do something a little more fun, I'm gonna be giving you those options along the way as well. So let's get started. I'm gonna start by applying Urban Decay's All Nighter Face Primer. Then I'm going to apply Urban Decay's Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation using a beauty blender. I really like this foundation because although it is lightweight, it also provides really nice coverage while remaining breathable and flexible. It comes in 50 shades and retails for $39 US. Next, I'm going to apply Urban Decay's Stay Naked Correcting Concealer under my eyes to cover up my dark circles. This second skin matte finish concealer can be used for just about anything, from covering an imperfection to highlighting a cheekbone. Like the foundation, it lasts up to 24 hours and retails for $29 US. Then I'm going to use my Fendi Pro Filter Concealer to cover up a few blemishes and dark areas. Now I'm going to pick up the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer in Tantalize and apply it on the hollows of my cheek, on the jawline blending down my neck and across my forehead. Picking up my current favorite blush from Pure Cosmetics, this is their Skin Perfecting Blushing Act in Very Beautiful. Moving on to the brows, I'm going to use this dual ended concealer highlighter from Billion Dollar Brows on my brow bone. This is a really great tool for when you're in between brow grooming because it gives the appearance of clean, groomed brows. Now I'm going to use the Universal Brow Pencil from Billion Dollar Brows to shape and help fill in my brows. Then I'm gonna use their Color and Control Tinted Brow Gel. I really like that these products don't have a red undertone, which is a problem that I found in a lot of brow products for my complexion. <music> Lastly, I'm gonna use the highlight end of the Brow Duo Pencil. Picking up Pixie Beauty's Pixie Heart Defensor Palette, I'm going to apply Oh He Got Money on my lids above my crease. Then I'm going to apply Fur Babies across my crease. 
I'm going to blend that out using Sigma's E45 tapered blending brush. Then I'm going to apply Philippines across my lid using Sigma's E55 eye shading brush. To deepen this look a little more and add a bit of depth and dimension, I'm going to apply coffee to the outer corners of the eye in a V shape. As you may have noticed, this is my preferred shape for my eyes, but feel free to apply your shadow in a circular shape if that is what works best for you and what you prefer. Now this is as deep as I'm going to go right now, but you can apply a darker shadow at the outer corners and blend it inwards and across the bottom lash line for a smokier evening look. This is my favorite mascara at the moment. This is Legendary Lashes Volume 2 from Charlotte Tilbury. It retails for $32 and is worth every cent. Next, I'm going to pick up this Stay Naked Threesome Bronzer, Highlighter, and Blush Palette in Naked from Urban Decay and apply the highlighter across my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, and my cupid's bow. Now I'm going to pick up Claren's new Lip Comfort Oil Intense in Intense Berry and apply it to my lips. <music> Lastly, I'm going to apply Urban Decay's All Nighter Waterproof Setting Powder. And then to finish this look off, I always like to spray a little Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray on my face. And here it is, here is my final everyday neutral day look. I added a little pop with this color right here. Obviously you go a little neutral. Um, you can deepen your shadows up. If you enjoy this video, please, please, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out on YouTube. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already and click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button so that you can set up your notifications for all. That way you will be notified as soon as my videos go up. I make new videos every single week and I cover everything from beauty to fashion to travel to DIY projects and more. As always, use the comment section below to ask any questions, make any requests, or just say hi. You guys know that I love to hear from you. Click or tap right here to watch my last video or click down below to watch another video that you might enjoy. Thanks again so much for watching.